welcome to another webinar from Nanotech Industrial Solutions. My name is Regina Fox. I'm the Marketing and PR Manager for NIS. And today we're going to be talking about mining, our unique nanotechnology of inorganic fullerene-like tungsten dust sulfide is going to be presented by Dr. Manish Patel. But before we start, I just want to tell you something about the questions you might have. We're not going to be chatting today. I don't want Dr. Patel to be distracted by chat. So I would ask you to put all of your questions to the Q&A session. It's on the right side of your screen. So without further ado, which I already did, here you go, Dr. Manish Patel. Hello and welcome everybody. Mining companies are under exceptional pressure to control costs, heighten efficiency, and improve the safety performance. A poor, untimely maintenance can cause a long down a long downtime, increase the fuel consumption, and spike the overall cost of mining operation. So the mining mining industry has a very big lubricant challenges and one of the biggest challenges environment because the mining has a very hot and humid and rainy environment uh, the second challenge is air contamination because there is a lot of fine dusting as you mine and those can go into the machineries which can increase wear and other problems as well as it can uh, you have personal hygiene issues. The third one is an equipment stress because if you're mining in there, you're trying to do very harsh operation, heavy loads, extreme pressure, that can play a bigger role in uh, uh, is, is challenge also. And the last one is the maintenance. The minings are in a, what, such a mountainous high, high altitude and valleys, and it's a remote location where the repair can be very difficult and costly. Uh, so NIS has fall, formulated a top off additive, AC1100, which is provides an anti-wear, anti-friction, and oil additive, which is specifically formulated for truck dumping, my, uh, dumping trucks, buses, my, uh, marine engines, diesel power engines, and to boost the performance of all types of diesel engines. Comparably with, it's compatible with both mineral oil as well as synthetic oils. It can be used as a part of the additive package for a fully formulated ready use engine oil or use as a top off as an aftermarket. Now, one of the most concerned people think about filter, filter, filter plugging and IFW particle are sub-micron size particle. They are 10 times smaller than a filter of one micron can filter any particle. So like one micron compared to the 10 times smaller, so it's no way it's gonna get stuck into the filter and gonna clog your filter plugging issues at all. Now, the particle has a unique geometry. We call IF is, is inorganic fullerens. WS2 is a part of tungsten disulfide. The particle shape resembles to like a soccer ball or a football. It has a very unique cage structure. As a shock, it has also unique behaviors uh, because of the shape. The particle rolls between the contact surface, absorbs shocks, just like a soccer ball will do if you try to and bounce back, and also reduces friction. Now, the particle has dozens of concentric layers like an onion. Now, IFW layers exfoliates under pressure, forming a protective film on contacting the surface. Now, for an example, in one gram of IFW powder, you can, it, we expect about 250 billion of nanoparticles. IFW layer exfoliates under pressure, shock, and shear. Now, when it exfoliates, the exfoliation reduce it, it just smoothens the surface, reduces the friction, less heat generated during the operation, better life, longer oil drain interval, better mileage, high, higher energy efficiency. Now, on the right hand side, you can see the exfoliated layer builds a strong uh, exfoliation sheet under the uh, and reduces the wear, and so less wear, less downtime 
equipment less re equipment recondition required and reduces the cost of ownership also now you have to understand that how the nanoparticle performs now nanoparticle is particle demonstrated increasing strength and encloses thermophysical property reduces the heat transfer now if you look at it on the right left hand side is a 1 ml of a oil of lubricant you can see how uh, how it covers and you can see on the right hand side a 1 ml of our ifw based particle which really coats the metal surface very very smoothly so it performs a phenomenal protection compared to the traditional lubricants now if you look at the benefits of ac1100 we have tested various oils with without ac1100 in four ball wear the performance test found that the wear decreases about 15 percent to 50 percent depending on whose engine oil it is and the treat rate is ranging between two to three percent so it's a very small tree trade, very inexpensive compared to the benefits you get out of this whole top of additive. Now let's start with some, give an example for tribological performance. What we did, we took a PAO and we measured the room temperature as well as 100 degrees C. We measured the wear scar on the right and you can see it's a tremendous wear scar and you can see even the coefficient of friction on the left is much more higher now the same oil we added a percent of the ifws2 and you can see the friction went down tremendously so we are able to reduce tremendous friction and on the right hand side you can see the wear has gone to nothing so significantly higher wear reduction you can see at room temperature as well as 100 c when you're using our ifw ac 1100 kind of top of additive now if we have also done some work is a three percent adding a frictional pro understand frictional property we took an engine oil added three percent of ac 1100 in a diesel engine oil if you look on on the right and left hand side you can see a chart where we have tested different brands of oil with three percent of our ac 1100 and you can see significant reduction in friction now so when there is a reduction in friction which translates into the following benefits look low engine wear reduces oil temperature which will result in an oil oxidation increases oil life because of all overall the oil oxidation is lower now the same kind of behavior when we study under wear parameters of the same engine oils we could see significant on the left you can see we could see significant reduction no matter which engine oil you're using so when you reduce your wear will increase your engine part life lower maintenance cost minimizes downtime engine downtime and increases the production uh, so if your downtime is lower definitely you'll be able to produce more parts with the performance of your engine is better now we also did some more work understanding how other top off behave compared to our ac1100 so if you see in the chart here we took a mobile devac 1300 engine oil which is 15w40 we added three percent of ifw ac ac1100 uh, and you can see all other traditional competitor top off additives we try to treat and compare you can see the coefficient of friction of ac 1103 percent treated is much more lower than any of the other ones you can see the same treated rate but it is much more lower now we also wanted to check the wear property so we looked at the wear part and you can even see the significantly lower wear comparison to other legacy top of products so it has been uniquely formulated and performance is phenomenal compared to most of the top of you find in the market and it is very well unique position in that way now we also wanted to understand how does the extended oil drain interval work in this with our additive so we ran a truck dump truck and we went went up to 50000 kilometer if you see on the right and left inside the chart the red is the boundary of an oem limits we plotted in the sp spider chart and what we are comparing was tbn lead if it is an old engine you have to worry about lead as the new engine you don't have to worry about lead and then viscosity oxidation and nitration 
Now, engineer analysis shows that it is still good at 50,000 kilometer and you still have some more limit uh, to go further. Now, AC1100 additive package is compatible to CH4, CI4, CJ4, SPC11, as well as CK4. It doesn't matter which additive package, which oil you're using, it will give you the same performance across the board. Now, we also it is when we run a field trial, we, it is very important to monitor all these metals. So, so this is one of the reasons I have shared with you the slide to show if you see a copper or a chromium or any of them, where it's coming from and what part it could be wearing out. So this could be very helpful for understanding the wear if you're running any field trials. Now, mining operation, uh, cost saving is a very unique we can see in this area. One is we can reduce the wear, improve the engine life and lower the maintenance cost. Reduction in friction improves the fuel consumption. Reduction in operating temperature increases the oil life. Reduction in oil consumption reduces waste. IFW particle smooth surface reduces vibration and noise. Reduction in equipment downtime increases the productivity. So overall, it can be a very, very good opportunity and a tool to meet the mining industry's challenge in our, our, our engines to perform better, have better optimized mine operations, efficiency, increase profitability and the safety. Thank you very uh, much for listening to my presentation and looking forward to seeing you again in another presentation next time. Thank you so much for a wonderful presentation, Dr. Patel. And dear audience, if you have any questions, Dr. Patel's email is on the screen. It's mpatel at nasusacorp.com. And again, if you had any question during this presentation, uh, Dr. Patel will be reading them in the Q&A section and we'll be answering them in 24 hours or even less. Thank you so much for being here with us and we'll meet you again very soon.